Welcome to our user flow diagram breakdown, while I'll walk you through the fundamentals of creating a user flow step by step and explain what the symbols mean. First, what exactly is a user flow? Simply put, a user flow is a diagram or flowchart that maps out the complete pathway a user takes from their initial entry point on your website or app all the way to achieving their goal. Let's use an example we're all familiar with, the product search and checkout process on Amazon, and build a user flow diagram to visualize each step. We start with landing on the home page. The entry point can really be any page, but for simplicity's sake, we're going with the home page. When you're diagramming, every user flow starts with this symbol, sometimes called a terminator symbol, which is the coolest symbol name for our money. We'll then hit the product pages, represented by this pointer-like display symbol, where we have to make a decision, which is what this diamond shape symbolizes. Let's say we want to snag a hard drive. If we're stoked about the product, we add it to the cart. Boom! This one looks like it'll do the trick. And if we don't like what we see, it's back to product pages, following the other arrow. Then it's onward to checkout, where we can review our cart. All looks good, so I'll click proceed to checkout. Yikes, looks like we're not logged in, let's sort that out. On the user flow, this would be another decision point. We'll just punch in our login details, represented by this weird little manual input shape. If we didn't have an account, here's where we could create one. Lines go from each of those manual input symbols over to the payment page. Now, rather than showing every step of payment, like entering credit card info, address, and shipping, we can use this square process symbol to represent the entire payment procedure. Pretty convenient, eh? What's next after everything is entered? Yep, another decision point. If payment is successful, we've reached our goal, scoring a sweet hard drive, and arriving at the endpoint of the user flow. If there's an issue, we'll be sent back to the checkout page to resolve it. And that's the whole shebang, from finding a product to purchasing it. Who knew there were so many micro decisions in a simple process like this? Ultimately, the sites that feel the smoothest are the ones that have created user flow diagrams like these, thinking through each step and detail. Of course, this is a bit simplified, and every company makes tweaks and adjustments to suit their needs. This isn't even the full flow for Amazon. They actually put an offer page to sign up for Prime before you hit that checkout page, which would be another decision point. Now that you know the nuts and bolts of building a user flow diagram, how can you ensure it truly meets the needs of your users? Click here and I'll walk you through a six step process from user research to defining your goals and your users goals that'll help you build smarter user flows. And if you want to learn what all the symbols mean, not just the ones covered in this video, check out this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.